methamphetamine. <laughs> God, look at how cute he is. Boy, him is so cute. Down here at the swimming hole, guys. Do you have a tanning bed in your house? Yeah, I've used oh a Oh my bed God. Hi. Hi. Hello. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. <laughs> Guys, I got my vanilla ice looking husband over here. I, he's like, I swear in all your vlogs, I'm always wearing Adidas. That's because you own like 20 tracksuits. Yeah, hey, I love them. And I've loved them since the night. They, well, yeah, thank God they're back in style now. I don't know that they are. <laughs> I don't know that there are. You just see me wearing them. No, they are. They are. The Adidas tracksuits are totally back. Like Jonathan Davis, the lead singer of Korn, is starting to wear them again because, like, now they're becoming. Who else? Who else? Uh, hip-hop artists. Uh, yeah, like Vanilla Ice. No, like yeah, maybe Dr. Dre or who's the other? Kid Rock wore them too. Uh, Dr. Dre. I don't know. Ba da ba da bang da bang diggy 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 <laughs> Kid Rock. I would love to go to a Kid Rock concert. Do you guys know what kind of awesome white trash would be? I was gonna say that, the but I didn't best. know if that was like too much. Oh no, no. That's very much they what know, that is. They know that I am real here on this channel and I, I mean, I'm saying this as a Kid Rock fan. I like Kid Rock. Okay, like. It's like very close to ICP to me. Oh yeah, ICP man and Kid Rock concert around like in certain parts of Missouri definitely scream like Beth. methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, it's if you're not positive. subscribed, <laughs> <laughs> to my channel. I am Pixie. I am a mommy vlogger and we talk about just well pretty much anything we want on this channel. Um, so we or I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hi, so today it is the day before Mother's Day. We are on the way to my dad's property out at Lost Creek. If you follow me for a while you guys have seen his cabin out there. It's a really neat piece of land that he has. And we're just gonna go out there and spend some quality time since we recently lost my stepmom. So we want to make this day kind of special for him and go hang out. Daniel, you guys missed it right before I turned the camera on. He was ranting and raving about cyclists on the road. Maybe you're gonna you're gonna upset people with that too. Uh, that's people, okay. People that are cyclists are super super serious. And they have I like, know this. I have a Peloton. They have bumper stickers and signs that are like share the road. <laughs> no, I get Daniel gets crazy. so mad at cyclists it's, on it's, the road. No, because it's like, all right, you want to share the road and you want us to abide by those rules, but also you like you can only go like. 20. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going 40, it's it's an inconvenience for me. Plus, it's not like you're riding very close to the edge. Like they'll they'll ride the road. They'll be riding the road. The center of the road. But also, when I have to stop at a stoplight, they feel like they could just keep fly going. By, you know, and just then, whatever. So they're not abiding by the road rules. So I hug the edge at the stop sign, and this guy's behind me, two cars, live it, and he's like. MFing me, I can watch his verbal, <laughs> I can read his mouth. He's MFing me back there, and I'm just like, I feel the same way, buddy. I feel the same way. Well, the thing is, though, when they're he not. wanted to just fly by at the stop sign. My problem is when they're not abiding by the rules and they're like not stopping at stop signs or stoplights, some body's gonna end up hitting them. And then whose fault is it gonna be? It's gonna be the person in the car. Yeah, and they're like gonna every be played, time. And it's gonna be on some little news thing, and he's gonna be up in this little casted body. <laughs> like, so, to each his own. Okay, I guess. so maybe we are the a holes here, but it's still funny to talk about. To it. each his own. So we're gonna talk about it on my channel. We're gonna talk about stuff that's funny. We had to step outside of ourselves for a second <laughs> to contemplate what the other side is feeling, and now we understand. But I still don't care. But it's still funny. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny.
dump truck? Is the bus dump truck freaking you out? <laughs> Squish loves Papa's big trucks. He thinks they are the coolest thing in the world. Hey, Lucy. Where's your daughter? Edie's terrified of the dump truck, so she won't get out. Squish thinks that's the coolest thing in the world. He likes it, huh? Yeah. Does that look like a highway worker? Yeah, you do look like a well, highway yeah, department I'm worker, Dad. The guy with the sign saying one lane. <laughs> I should have a sign up. You hold you hold the sign up traffic for traffic control. For all the deer that might be crossing yeah, over here. Traffic control. <laughs> Come on, you bug. Oh. Ooh, it's always so chilly in here. It's like cave temperature. My whole car smelled like a big fart on the way here because of the deviled eggs. <laughs> Chris didn't come? I thought Chris would be here. He is working. Oh. All day today. So. Nope, nope. Oh, crap, today. now we have all this food for just like us. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll bring plenty home. Okay. okay. <laughs> here at the swimming hole guys so this summer dad will bring like the backhoe down here and he digs us out and it's like super deep and we jump off that rock but it's really cold because it's like all spring fed Watch out. <laughs> look how pretty it is so yeah, I think I'm gonna gather some rocks, some of these rocks to bring home and put around my tree. My other tree that doesn't have. What size rocks are you looking for? Um, just like, probably, like yeah, that? probably about this size, yeah. Doesn't really matter. I mean, you don't have to help me if you don't want to. But... Oh my God, did you guys find a frog? Snatch him real quick. Wow, oh my God, look at how cute he is. Boy, him is so cute. Are you gonna show girl? Let's go show girl. Girl's scary. I think frogs freaked out. <laughs> Don't swing them too high. Squish, is that fun? Hmm? Girl, what do you think? Is that fun? Oh, hmm? oh she's happy. Guys, Alyssa and Maggie hung this. Oh, yeah. They are women. Hear them roar. I can see your blue boat, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just like put a mattress on a bunch of these? And, like, <laughs> Dude, people totally do that. Yeah, I know, like those, like teepee pods. That's like the tree be... pods. But yeah. I've also seen them use the small trampolines, the yeah. metal framing, and then. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Here is the rock that we gathered from Lost Creek. 
and so we got all along the side of that and then I did this tree obviously Daniel needs to mow the lawn but it's been raining like crazy that we can't even get to mowing it right now I have it in the front as well but I kind of like the really big rocks because you could see them really good from the road so I think I might end up taking these out putting them in the back and then getting more big ones to line in front of here and then around these two trees and then these are the flowers that I got um, they're called impatience and they do really, really well. They're actually shade flowers. So these, if you guys have like shade gardens at home, but you're wanting more color and it not to just be green, impatience are perfect for that. They love shade and they're good for people like me that may forget to water. <laughs> so um, they're pretty hardy. They do pretty well. Happy Mother's Day to all my YouTube mummies. So we are getting ready to head to my mom's house today because obviously it's Mother's Day. Daniel just got back from seeing his mom. They are back from Florida and look who they brought with them. We got Aiden and Nolly here. They're back. You guys were going for what, two weeks? A little over two weeks, it's I think. Two and a half. Way to skip out the pandemic and coronavirus Yeah, lockdown. yeah, so just they... They hiatus it off to Florida. They escaped the pandemic and basically Daniel's mom and dad were like that they were so sweet. They flew the kids down and got them on the plane like with mask and everything. And Nolly said, How was the plane? Was it pretty empty? It wasn't that empty actually. They I was quite was surprised. The most full they've seen in two weeks. Wow. <laughs> so they said it was the most full go. that they had seen in two weeks. So yeah, um, you know, we were a little nervous to do this, but Daniel's mom said, look, what we'll do is we'll have them come down here, stay with us for a few weeks. They said that that way, if they were to catch anything, they would be in quarantine down there in Florida with them. I and was then, tested. No, I was negative. Yeah. Aiden does not have it. Aiden, Aiden was and, tested. Aiden was tested and does not have it. And he was tested because he ended up getting an ear infection when he was down there. So they actually drove back last night and which they, isn't like all right so florida's huge yeah so you can be and they're in the naples bottom, they're in naples and they're at the florida. very bottom of florida so yeah. like that is I mean, Aiden, do you guys know how much the drive was just to get out of florida graham calls it a 24 hour drive but i'm or not from there to home but it was i don't know it's like five or six no it wasn't no five or six hours <laughs> no it's probably like it's i think it's longer than going to colorado from here I bet it's 16 I, think, I bet 17, it was like 18. Maybe. Oh, I thought you meant from like Florida to Georgia. No, it was like 18. Okay, okay, that's So it's like thought. five hours probably across the state. So Buma drove straight through. <laughs> Has not slept. Yeah. Got these kids home so that way they could be with their mom later on today. She'll get them tonight. Yeah, she'll she's get them tonight. Here. So, because I think she's, is she down at the ranch right now? Okay, yeah, so she's like out of town right now too so but yeah I, we're happy we're happy that we have them back they are safe and i'm really jealous that they got to uh they got oh, to wait out beach lockdown is, in florida the beach like open like and it was like the best day because they live in the one part of florida so they're on the side where um texas covers them so they don't get waves at all oh. so the one day that they opened it there's like massive waves because of the wind and it was so awesome when we went boogie board in awesome yeah, they're more in the golf golf side yeah, we were supposed to go down for their spring break, but that like what that was like the early March, hit. and then the pandemic. It all hit, hit at that certain time, so and everybody was go. kind of panicking, getting afraid, and we made the decision not to Taking, go. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't go, um, and it sucks because we had already like bought plane tickets and stuff. But that's all right. Better safe than sorry. Let me show you guys what I got my mom for Mother's Day. Um, I like to do these little baskets for her every year, and she loves Biolage shampoo. If you guys have used that, you know it smells so amazing. But it's like not one of those things that you buy yourself all the time because it's it's like a fancy shampoo, you know. So it's not exactly like buying Pantene or something. So I got her some Biolage shampoo and a little basket, a loofah, and then she also likes to use. Oh, oh. Well, I have to set this back up, you guys, so it looks nice. But she also likes to use this uh, Jergens Natural Glow because you know now we're saying now her and I are being 
smart and staying out of the tanning beds. So, um, yeah, beds? so that's her little Mother's Day gift. Tanning beds are so bad for you. <laughs> Okay. They can cause skin cancer. They are not good. I mean, you used to do it all the time. I used to do it all the time when I played in my bands, and I know I'm going to be paying for it because my mom just had skin cancer taken off of her face. So, didn't you have a tanning bed in your house? Yeah, I've used Oh a my bed god. Already. Yeah, Daniel had a tanning bed in his house <laughs> Wait, growing up. I forgot about that. Just through high school. Mr. Privileged over here. Oh. What is, oh, look at my basket. Oh, guys, that is so pretty. I'm spoiled. Hi. Hi, Hello. happy Mother's Day, Mama. Hi. I love my hanging basket. And the shepherd's have chairs, too. Are you serious? Sweet. Hi. Oh my gosh, have thank you. Awesome. Isn't her hair cool? Yes. Cool. Say Boo Ma did that. Shake. <laughs> here, this is for you. Thank you. Is that yeah. sure? you want to come here? Shampoo, that's all. Shampoo, conditioner, tanning yeah. stuff. Yeah, Hi, Roy. And I saw another one out there. I was like, yes. <laughs> here, Oma is getting your bubble mower going. Look at that bubble mower. <laughs> oh, he's got extension bolts. Okay, push it, girl. It's a bubble mower, Squish! Curly hair girl, you look like a mess. You look like a little orphan Annie girl. Yeah, you do, girl. So, anyways, you guys, I am so sorry for not really vlogging a whole lot um, at my mom's for Mother's Day, but I Woo! just really ended up spending a whole lot of time with her and just forgot to pick up the camera, which I guess isn't a bad thing. It's probably a good thing. Good. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here, and I'm sorry that it was kind of a couple days like pasted together, but. Sometimes that's just how things happen um, when you're vlogging. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure your bell notification is on because I do post three videos a week. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.